Good morning, friends. Um, today we come to reflect uh, briefly on a passage from Acts chapter 1, uh, verses 12 to 14, and we look at the theme of waiting and belonging. Uh, Acts chapter 1, uh, verses 12 to 14, portrays a scene of waiting and of unity within the early Christian community. Uh, after the story of the ascension of Jesus, uh, so we see the disciples return to Jerusalem and they devote themselves to prayer. And in this reflection, we'll explore these themes of waiting and belonging. Um, firstly, we look at the, the power of waiting. According to the unfolding story, uh, Acts chapter 1, verse 12 to 14, highlights the period of waiting that the disciples experience between the ascension of Jesus and the arrival of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. Uh, waiting can be a challenging and uncertain time, filled with anticipation and longing. And as people of faith, uh, we recognize the value of waiting as a spiritual practice. It is during these moments of patience and reflection that we can deepen our understanding, we can nurture our faith, and we can cultivate uh, a sense of inner peace. Uh, waiting invites us to embrace the unknown and to trust in the unfolding of life's mysteries. But with the power of waiting also comes a challenge, the challenge of waiting. It can be difficult. It can be demanding. Uh, in the passage, we witness the disciples enduring a period of uncertainty and longing. And similarly, in our own lives, we encounter seasons of waiting, waiting for answers, waiting for healing, waiting for justice. Waiting challenges us to practice patience and resilience. It invites us to trust in the timing of life and to find meaning in the waiting itself. Uh, in these moments, we can draw strength from the example of the disciples in this passage. The knowledge that we are not alone in our waiting. And that brings us on to the theme of community and belonging in this passage. Uh, in the passage, we see the disciples coming together in unity and solidarity. We find solace and strength in their shared experience and their devotion to prayer. As people of faith, we affirm the importance of community and belonging. We understand that we are not solitary individuals, but we are interconnected beings reliant on one another for support, for growth, for spiritual nourishment. And in our congregations and communities, uh, we hopefully strive to create spaces of inclusivity, where all can find a sense of belonging a sense of acceptance, regardless of backgrounds or beliefs. And then lastly, the theme of prayer as a source of strength. Prayer is a central element in the passage of Acts 1, 12 to 14, serving as a means for the disciples to connect with the divine and to seek guidance. Uh, Christians of uh, of all different varieties, approach prayer in diverse ways, but all recognize its potential as a personal and a communal practice. Whether we practice prayer through meditation or reflection or uh, reading and re reflection on scripture or shared rituals, prayer can offer solace, clarity, and inspiration. It provides us with a space to express gratitude, to share our hopes and fears, and seek guidance as we navigate life's challenges. Prayer serves as a source of strength, grounding us in our spiritual journey and fostering a sense of connection with the sacred. And so as we have reflected on this passage, I want to read it now to us. After Jesus was taken up into heaven, the apostles went back from the Mount of Olives, as it is called, to Jerusalem, a short distance away, no more than a Sabbath walk. And when they reached the city, 
they went to the upper room where they were staying. They, and they, they were Peter and John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Jude son of James. All of these joined in continuous prayer together with several women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. And so as we have taken a few moments to reflect on this passage, uh, so we pray. I pray that you would um, continue to reflect on these themes of the power of waiting, the challenge of waiting perhaps in your own life, uh, the, the benefits of belonging to community, and the power of prayer. However you uh, understand prayer in your own faith and life. And may God bless you today and this week um, as we journey next Sunday uh, to the, the, the Sunday of Pentecost. Amen. God bless.